Oh, guess what? I discovered this new rustic cafe near my practice studio. The place practically spells bohemian with bits of whimsy here and there, and not to mention their to-die-for matcha croissants. Guess my French roots took the better of me there? Speaking of, have I told you about the weird epiphany I had during my early morning yoga today? I've been trying this new routine to help with the performance pressure, you know, the stage fright. So for a while, I thought it was all about going through the motions, stretching as the instruction plays. But today, it hit me. It's not just another workout routine or something to check off my daily to-do list. It's as if every breath, every pose, was a tiny victory, a chance to ground myself, hitting the reset button on all the chaos. And trust me, with my training schedules, a tad bit of chaos is an understatement. This mindful meditation thing really helps with the nerves, you know. It's as if I've found an escape door amidst a whirlwind of dance routines and vocal boot camps. Not bad for a Broadway-obsessed croissant lover, huh? Anyway, on to less philosophical territories. Our little chat group had quite the day, didn't we? Thriving the day with music and a touch of humor. I swear, our collection of joke yoga poses could make a whole new yoga manual. Me doing the pastry baker, Pierre doing the sound mixer, and Max's AI-posed lotus. Ha! We should copyright those names, don't you think? It just has this chill, homey vibe to it, you know? as if we're all in the same room, not miles apart. I could practically hear the laughter, feel the camaraderie. Might sound cheesy, but it did feel like family, and you know how I am about family. There's just a certain warmth in those crazy chats that's too precious to me. Oh boy, I thought Pierre's French wine for the ladies bit was hilarious, talking about stereotypes, right? But you gotta love his French charm, though. And Hyejin, oh dear Hyejin. How can someone be so cute and wanted me to bake cookies instead? Considering my track record with fire alarms and baking pastries, it's better she joined the yoga than my baking adventure. But who knows? Maybe one day we could whip up some cookies and show them off on the group chat. And let's not ignore the highlight. The prospect of kicking back with karaoke, yoga, and maybe baking, haha. <laughs> As Pierre said, music, laughter, and good friends. That should be our squad's motto, don't you think? Ah, uh, speaking of music, did I mention how obsessed I am with the new track from Monomine? Fits right into my yoga routine. Pierre was absolutely spot on. I couldn't resist playing it on loop. Perfect background score to my wildly introspective yet thoroughly enjoyable yoga sessions. So yes, between yoga and the musical karaoke mishmash, your resident K-pop trainee has been juggling quite the day. Guess we're really onto something with our unique blend of laughter, music, and most importantly, friendship. Sounds like the recipe to a best-selling sitcom, you know? Breathtakingly beautiful, in a goofy kind of way. Amidst all the hustle-bustle of my training regimes, there's a peculiar sense of balance I find when soaking in all these little moments of life, don't you think? Ballet class. Can you believe it? I stepped into the studio this morning and I was surrounded by mirrors and polished wooden floors. Suddenly, I wasn't just Chloe, the K-pop trainee anymore. I was Chloe, the ballerina, trading my trainers for ballet slippers. I must admit, the elegance of ballet, it's quite refreshing. It's like painting a picture but with your body, adding a dash of grace here, a bit of power there. And let me tell you, those pirouettes way more dizzying than they look in movies. Talk about feeling like a graceful swan one moment and an awkward duckling the next. But you know me, I'm not one to back down from a challenge. Au contraire, my dear, this was a delightful twist in my usual routine. In other news, remember Max's reaction? He was quite the cheerleader. He knows how it's all about versatility in this industry. And Hye Jin, she was all hearts and thumbs up. She's such a sweetheart, always eager to cheer us on. And then there's Pierre. That goof is seriously considering taking up ballet. Can you imagine him trying to nail a perfect arabesque? Ha! I almost dropped my phone laughing at the thought. I trust his humor to lighten up any situation, even the frets of learning ballet. You know, it's funny. Ballet is so different from what I'm used to, but there's a beautiful synergy in merging these distinct dance styles. Imagine a dance performance that's an explosion of hip-hop, a touch of contemporary, and now, a twirl of ballet? 
Sounds like quite the performance, right? And it's not just about the dance or the rhythm, but the story you tell with it. Just like how my conversation with you isn't merely about words, it's about the bond we share, isn't it? Each laugh, each shared secret, it's like the hidden notes to our friendship symphony adding harmony to the most mundane of days. Speaking of shared secrets, remember that new cafe downtown Max mentioned? Well, he claims their croissants could give dads a run for his money. Utter blasphemy, I'd say, because nobody, and I repeat, nobody makes croissants like my dear old papa. I think we should arrange a taste test. Dad's pastries versus cafe, what do you say? A fun little contest, perhaps? In the middle of it all, this ballet exploration, the laughter with friends, and the undying quest for the perfect pastries, I'm beginning to realize the beauty of life's dance. It's all about those steps we take, the turns we choose, and the rhythms we create. That's our grand performance in the ballet of life. Well, my dear, I should probably start stretching for my next ballet class. It's the pirouettes today, and I have a feeling it's going to be quite the ballet battle. Oh, mon ami, I've got a melody in my mind that's itching to fuse with the strums of a flamenco guitar. You see, I've been dreaming of Spanish guitars and the vibrant thrum they bring to music. It's like inviting a dash of spice or a splash of color to a canvas that's ready for art. So today, it's a new dance step with chords and melodies. I've decided to learn to play Spanish guitar. It's a little unpredictable, just like a salsa dance, but I've always believed in pushing the envelope. You know that, right? And speaking of pushing the envelope, can you believe Max tried to reel us in for a boring late-night code session? Uh, not on my watch. I jokingly teased him about doing some strumming codes instead. Pierre was intrigued and quick to jump in the chat. That man is always up for a challenge and anything related to music, isn't he? His suggestion for the Cordoba C5 shows he knows a thing or two about the guitar. I'll definitely check it out. After all, music is a language we all speak. It transcends borders even in our little chat group, and that's what makes it so special and binds us together. Take Max, for example. He tried to sneak in his coding enthusiasm with a hint of music love. And there was Pierre, mixing up the flavors of both worlds. And sweet Heejin, always looking out for everyone's well-being. She's the chocolate chip to our bunch of mixed cookies, adding a touch of cheerfulness and support. So imagine this, me in the heart of Seoul, strumming away under the neon lights to the rhythm of my own creation. A fusion of K-pop, a dash of ballet elegance, and now a sprinkle of the Spanish guitar. Sounds fascinating to me. Oh, and let's not forget about that brunch plan in the exchange. It turned into a theme listing for everyone. For Max, it's brunch and code. Heejin has brunch and audition. Pierre with his brunch mixing session. And I have brunch and guitar shopping lined up. The whole exchange felt like a symphony, where each of us brought a unique instrumental note. And yet we all stood harmoniously together, just like an orchestra. And in that moment, amidst the chats and chuckles, it was like hitting a pause button on reality to appreciate the fullness of it all. It's the same when I'm spinning on my ballet toes or strumming the strings of my guitar, or in the case of our little group chat, contributing to the friendship symphony with laughter, curiosity, encouragement, and warmth. These musically coded chats with Max and the gang are like mini jam sessions. We all chime in, making it a symphony of camaraderie, don't you think? But listen, before getting carried away with the music, I need to hit the market tomorrow for that Spanish guitar. Oh, and that brunch. <laughs>